Thank you for coming to Dale Chanel's 48th World, where we do soap opera reviews. And today's soap opera we're going to be going over is The Bold and the Beautiful for Monday, August 15, 2016. The summary that they give us is Thomas is impacted by Sasha's story and the secret she was forced to keep uh, her entire life. Steffi has an outburst. In reaction to Eric's announcement regarding changes at Forrester Creations. We go into the first scene. We have Ridge getting back from Friday's episode. episode. Steffi, Ridge getting into Eric and bringing Quinn back. They're just having a field day with that. They're not accepting it. It's not going to happen. If though Eric Forrester says changes will be made. I wish you made changes on them and fired them and brought in a whole crew that's non-related uh, in family relations. Just a whole bunch of, you know, executive people that have no interest in the company, okay? Because they just getting too beside themselves and they are acting like children and not Eric Forster and Quinn. Anyway, they're just not having it. They don't want Quinn back. They don't made it very apparent, apparent to Eric that that's the way it's going to be. Wyatt and Liam, uh, they go back to Spencer Publications because it's not their business. And whenever Steffi wants to come and tell them, that's when she will. Okay, Thomas and Sasha make small talk after Sasha lightly kisses him. Uh, Thomas tells or feels Sasha's life um, for him goes on here in L.A. while Caroline is back in New York with baby Douglas. Okay, he's been checking on me. It is what it is, but like he told Sasha, life goes on. He's not waiting on any and everybody. Okay, so Thomas is telling Sasha Julius had no right talking to her the way he did. Sasha confides in Thomas about her dad. Wyatt is telling Liam his marriage is fine. Wyatt is telling Liam why can't he act like a brother and support him and get out of his marriage and thinking about he's going to take his wife from him. Liam is talking about Quinn, manipulation, and, you know, Wyatt is just totally <sighs> in another world when it comes to his mom, but he understands it. It's his mom. Eric tells his family he's done with the family pettiness, okay? Steffi says to Eric, you're asking too much from all of us. She pleads with her granddad not to do this Eric, uh, you know, don't do this to them. Eric should just fire them all, just like I said, just follow them, just fire them all. They can't get with the program, business wise, or his personal life. Just, this, uh, you know how you call it, oust them out in a sense, okay? We go to commercial, we come back. We have Sasha and Thomas still talking about her past, about her life growing up, being with Julius. Uh, raising her but not really acknowledging her as one of his children, you know, like she was the black sheep of the family, whatever. Sasha says she was forced by Julius to keep quiet all these years ago. You know, you were pretty much asked to keep quiet as well as with your mother because she didn't want to lose what she had and Julius was providing for her. Let's get it straight, Sasha, okay? Anyway, Liam and Wyatt still arguing about Quinn. Then we have Rick, Pam, Rich, Steffi, and Eric still fussing about Quinn coming back to the jury line, uh, making her mark within the company. And he wants to date her uh, personally as well. They should fall all the way back. And I'm here for Eric for trying to get them straight. Everybody needs to be fired again, like I said. The set, the tone, that he's back and he's in charge. Okay? Uh, then they bring up Steffi, Stephanie Forrester and what she would think about all his comings and goings with Queen. She wouldn't have it, and we're not going to have it. I'm like, oh, that's a low blow. The lady's gone, okay? Start bringing up past incidents, all right? And deal with the future. We go to commercial, we come back. We have Thomas tell Sasha he was good on protecting her. That wasn't a problem. He would do it again if it played out that way. Sasha tells Thomas she's um, faked a pre pregnancy to try to keep Zenday. You know, what kind of person does that? But she admitted to a false. And Thomas goes and ensures her everybody had their bad times and they done done some bad things that uh, were very unforgivable if they were the person receiving the bad part of it all or whatever. But, you know, everybody's not perfect. Uh, everybody haven't lived a, a pure life in a sense. You know, we're all fallible. So you're just trying to get her to get that through her thick head that everybody makes mistakes, but you just go on and don't make those same mistakes again. Okay, then we have Wyatt is daydreaming and remembering everything Steph had told him about his mom, Quinn. Liam is telling Wyatt, I told Quinn I would buy her a plane. No, 
Wyatt is telling Liam he told his mom that he would buy her a plane ticket out of L.A. period if she didn't follow through or follow through with leaving Eric alone. Now, of course, Liam's looking at him like, really? You think that's going to... I, I, no, I admire you for trying to do that to your mom. But really, your mom is a different breed. She's not going to be doing all that. If she tell you one thing, she do another because it's all about her. And Liam was pretty much right uh, about that. Whatever queen wants, she gets. Okay. We go to Rick. Rick is saying Ridge and him never see eye to eye. They never agree on anything. But with, with this situation, he does side with Ridge and the rest of the family. Uh, but I'm like, you on Ridge's team? Oh, that ain't going to be long Well, you jump ship. Quick, fast, in a hurry. Okay, then we have Steffi tells Eric, you're going to have to end this personal and business relationship with Quinn. And that's all to it, granddad. That's all. Okay, and I just want to go inside her head. Tie her hair down to something and then try to make her, let her get up. It would be very painful and she wouldn't do it. She wouldn't get up. She'd just have to sit in that seat until I wanted to let her up. Okay. Then we have uh, Eric is telling Quinn uh, she don't have to explain herself to them. Like, who are they to tell us? And we grown as hell. Okay. I understand that. You know what I'm saying? So we go to commercial. We come back. We have Sasha says uh, secrets are bad. And, you know, um, Thomas agrees with her, but you know, we move on. We make mistakes, we move on. Uh, she's uh, saying Thomas still going, you know, we both going over her past and just that and that and trying to rationalize everything. But you know, Thomas still comes up that Julia is the main common denominator. He's the one that was wrong and she should not feel bad about anything. Then we have Wyatt is wondering why he hasn't heard from Steffi yet. Okay, Liam is saying, how many times Quinn promised you something and she did the exact opposite? Okay, so got why, why I kind of thinking, you know, at this moment. But, you know, he's still trying to listen to uh, Liam because he knows Liam wants his wife. Okay, so then we go to Rick. Rick says to rescind your offer you made to Quinn unless you put it in writing. And then Eric said, no, I ain't putting that in writing. It's all verb. Now he's all, oh, yeah, we could just change our mind. No, it's not going to work out. So you're not, you didn't sign in the paper. So it's not really a good deal, Dad. Let's just get rid of her. Move on, find another jury designer. So since no papers have been signed, we, we, we scot free. Okay. And uh, Eric looking at his son like, if you don't sit your praise behind down somewhere, okay. Uh, then we have Pamela's talking nonsense she's trying to bring in her sister dear sister's name about what you know what tiffany forrester is dead okay leave her out the uh Bermuda triangle that we all find ourselves in and let hey okay pam sit down please sit down you go get married somewhere okay i'm tired of you okay then we have stephanie's telling eric it has to be over with Queen. And then she looks madly at Queen. And Queen looks madly at her like, no, you're not getting the last word this time. You don't slap me upside the head. You don't slap me to the ground. And now you think I'm going to let you take my pot of gold that I have solidified for myself. No, you're not going to do it this time, Stephanie. And she's giving her the evil eye, guys. She is giving her the evil eye. She like she want to punch off Stephanie like, pop, right up in the nose or the eyes and the mouth. But she want to have lights out for Stephanie. Definitely need to take them now, okay? But that was my take on The Bold and the Beautiful that aired for Monday, August 15, 2016. Look forward to talking with you tomorrow and giving you narration and visuals of that particular episode that's going to air tomorrow the 16th. Okay, talk to you later. Blessings. Bye-bye.